trip back by. The Syria had happened on the Crones. The beastly sisters took her in, then wavered. Unsure if they should eat her or surrender her to the wild hunt, Siri escaped before they could decide. Pursued by a spectral rider, she had fled into the swamp where Geralt lost her trail once more. He now needed a new lead. Hey, it's Ellie. Welcome back to another episode of The Witcher 3. So in the last episode, we found out that the Baron beat his family, or I guess just his wife, he says anyway. And uh, that's why they ran away. They didn't just disappear. So now we're following him to find this botchling child a name. who is no. going to help us find what his family. Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Oh, here, okay. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now, I've done wrong. Good. <laughs> the grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Watch things on the prowl. No, I knew it was going to look gross. Oh, jeez. How are we going to deal with this? We want to turn it. Take it in your arms, quick. And if it goes garrity, it'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular, and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Oh boy, I hope I can Make do it this. Take it in your arms. Oh my gosh. Good merciful gods. Oh my gosh. Back to the fortress. What's okay, how do I calm it? As I recall, you were the one who wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubricant. Uh, probably this one, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, this is so freaky right now. I'm, like, very concerned, to be honest. Oh my god. Look at how freaky it looks. I hope I can uh, calm it with magic if I need to. Oh no, oh no. Am I doing it? Did I calm it? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Just like a bunch of wraiths. Ah! Oh no, I just used the sign accidentally. Okay, okay. Come over here. I need this sign. Ah! There, are they all gone now? It's something fierce. Can't hold it. Calm it somehow. Oh crap. That wasn't the right sign that I wanted to use. Did I do it? Did I do it? I don't know if I'm doing it. How do I calm it? Okay. I think I did it. Whew. I pushed it like three times. But what do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a leprechaun. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. 
Okay then. This is so unusual. I did not expect this story to go like this, to be honest. This is the last thing I expected I would be doing. Oh no. Ah, ah! Crap, crap, crap! Did I get them all? No, there's one more. I knew it. Okay. And still another. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, crap. I hit it right out of there. Come on. Come on, you wraith. Come over here, please. Is that all of them now? Did that work? I think I got it there. There we go. Stopped. Whew. I hope we don't have to do another one of those fights. Chosen a name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's it's a girl. What would Anna have named her? I don't know. She's your wife. Okay, please tell me we're almost there. Oh no, my pants are damaged. My poor pants. Okay, whew, we made it. What now? Repeat after me. By the powers of Earth and Sky. Powers of earth and sky. By the world that was to be your home. By the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya. And embrace thee as my daughter. Good. Now bury the body. What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this, lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Okay. So, I guess we just, uh, wait. Sit and wait. Oh, there we go. There we go. By blood's power I summon you. With your name I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. 
Oh my god, it looks even weirder now that it's like a ghost thing. What did I do to deserve your compliment? Okay, this thing is weird. This is the weirdest quest I've done so far, I think. It's just taking all kinds of crazy turns. I'm gonna run to keep up with this thing. It's so fast. Speedy little baby ghost. How far do we have to go running after this thing? I hope not too far. Let me live. Okay, we're going out of the village. I wouldn't think they would be hiding in the village. Do other people see this thing too? Or is it just me? I just need to know that. Like, do other people see me following this ghost baby around? Oh, please, just wait, ghost baby. Okay. I think we can go now. That other one doesn't seem to be too around here. Oh, oh, going off the path. It's a little house right here. Is this where they're hiding? Mm, maybe not. In here? Ugh, sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around though. Mm, in where? In the house? I assume. Oh, what is this? Some old clothes. Alright, I guess we gotta go in the house. It's blocked. How do we get in? <laughs> Can I hit it out with my sign? Wait, wait, hold on. No, that didn't work. Alright, uh, let's see. How are we getting in this place? There's no kind of secret entrance. Oh, oh. Hoofs. Okay, horse. there we go. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Okay, anything else to find? Oh, these Clothing. clothes that I looked at they before. Here. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Oh, okay. Wants to show me something more. Why did you even make me stop here? Who cares that they were here? I just want to know where they are now. What in the heck is this? Oh, one of these creepy things again. I need to meditate. Get some health back. <laughs> okay, we gotta follow the ghost baby again. It's leading us to somewhere. Where are we going? I'm in front of it now. All this time I was trying to keep up with it and now it's going pretty slowly. Come on, let's go, ghost baby. What is this thing? Oh, rot fiend. Stop blocking my shot. Ah! Oh, oh. oh. Ah, crap, I forgot to run away from that. Well, I was trying, but it didn't really work. Oh no, more of them. Can I meditate? <laughs> there. <laughs> Problem solved, whoops. All right, we do gotta put our sign back on again. We'll deal with these two things up here. Try to run away before they explode. Oh, run away! Get out of here! Get away! <laughs> oh, okay. Whew. Got one. 
Oh my god, there's so many. Okay, okay. <laughs> Get away! Whew. Is that all of them? Gosh. Oh, is this that chick's horse? What do we have here? The one who is just hiding out. Okay, lots of options. Bones have been here a while. How about the saddle? Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. What happened to this poor horse? Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Yikes. Mm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Gonna loot all these little lot themed things. Oh, I'm stuck on the dead horse. Gross. Man, those things are hard. It takes a while. To, it takes a bit to get away from them. We don't want that. Just trying to get this. That's trying to tab Dixon. That's not how you do that in this game. Playing all the games all the time. It just gets a little confusing with the controls. Oh man. A wolf. How you like that silver? There. Really need to meditate again. <laughs> Cause I don't I don't like being low health when I'm going through here. There's a lot of random things that keep attacking me. There's a wolf. He's just rolling on the ground like a dog. Oh, another wolf. He dodged me. Okay, I think I hit those two at a time. Anyways. Still gonna follow this floating baby around. She would just lead me straight to the people. Are they here? Are they in here? A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Oh, there's people in here. Who's that? At the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women. The Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure? Not even passing through? Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy. Hmm. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Because... Because he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. Well, where is the wife? What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, poor like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high. And still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched him. But finally they came forth and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. A 
And those damn birds. Swarms of them coursing over the woods, raising the racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. But then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. Hmm. What happened next? Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat. And before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for a mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Okay, um, let's find out about the marks, marks? I guess. These, well, like burned on with hot iron, on the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Hmm. Do we know where Anna is? A while back, I met a woman in Crookback Bog. Had fiery marks on her skin like the ones you described. Must be her! Mrs. Anna! Gods, she's a Crookback Bog. It's where I saw her last. Gods of all the heavens protect us. Tis clear now who's whispered to her in the night. It is. The crones took her. She must have made a deal with them. A pact. It's why they marked her and took her like she was their own. Oh boy. All right. Thanks for your help. The lady, she'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. Hmm, that's, that's some interesting information. Oh my gosh, boy, get off of me. What the heck? <laughs> Yeah, we've got a... Oh no, this little baby. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Oh, yep. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Okay, then. <laughs> Done with the floating baby. So let's go and tell the Baron about his family, I suppose. And then I, I think we're going to try to get them back. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. We'll see what the Baron wants us to do, I guess. I'm still bummed I didn't help those people and the horses out of the barn. I wanted to. I just didn't understand how to get in. And then uh, I talked to the Baron. And that just put me right in the cinematic, so... Yeah. All right, where is the Baron now? Oh, look at this little dog. So cute. He must be in the house somewhere. Or, wait, where is he? Witcher. Oh, in the garden, word, I guess. Please. Oh, no. Some random guy. What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is? Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk? No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. Okay. <laughs> that was a random little interaction, I guess. Where is he? There he is. There you are. See the hollyhock there? 
the violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story, insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, were called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Okay, let's talk about his Got family. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she alright? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it has helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. Right, fine, fine. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this, call it enticement, and this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? We'll talk about her, don't worry. But right now, you'll tell me about Siri, just like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours, pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size, why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living? Seri, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you done well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? Oh, are we playing Siri now? Uh, I think we'll just... Yeah. A little here, a little there. Not surprising, given you wander the world alone. Not alone no more. She's in the company now. That's right. You're a member of the company. We're drinking together, killed a wild boar as a pack, you might say. But we've no notion how you arrived here. A woman in a man's garb, razor on her back. Who exactly are you? You a mercenary? Ha. <laughs> I feel like maybe we shouldn't tell people we're a witcher because they don't seem too receptive of us. Most people, anyway. Let's say I go about my business. And when there's coin to be earned, I don't readily turn it down. I've always held with the world how it is today. Lasses ought to know how to fend for themselves. All right, all right. A woman could swing a sword. I've knowed one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna race. Well, that's an awfully gloomy face. Too much of a coward to race a woman. The horse is mine. 
to race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. Oh boy. Dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! Oh boy, this is gonna be so exciting. We're gonna Come race. On, We're gonna race. <laughs> Want that horse, don't ya? Had one just like it. Where are we going to? I hope I take the right path. Okay. Ooh, he's still behind me. I hope we can make it. Kind of running out on horse stamina here. Where is it? Close by. Ah. Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh. Did we win? Whew, we won! Your wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Oh my gosh, she's ripping. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Hmm. I guess, uh, we should tell him we know where his wife is. Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why would you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core? A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Well, yes. Yeah, I kind of do agree with that. I don't care what his wife did to him. She doesn't get to be beaten for it. Doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. Uh, to be honest, I don't think I care about what he says happened. Sorry, but your life story, just not interested. This isn't a social call. I'm here on business. Will you at least tell me how Anna wound up in that blasted bog? Oh, I got a level up. How exciting. She made a pact with the crones and, well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child. A child she didn't want to bear. 
went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crones sapped her of strength and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her, tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare, sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Mm. He shouldn't go into the swamp. Venturing into the swamp, even with armed men, is just a bad idea. It's a dangerous place inherently. And I think those crones are a greater threat than anyone realizes. I'll not sit on my ass waiting for them to return her. Would you wait? Count on their mercy if they had your daughter? Probably not. But I'm a witcher. And I'm a husband and a father who's fucked up his life and the lives of his loved ones. I'll gather my men. Go there and retrieve Anna. All right, let's finally find out what happened to we Siri. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now, what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantua. Oh, it was a basilisk, not One a griffin. Solid brute. It landed. I thought we breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! Let's show this bastard what we're worth! Oh boy, okay, we get to fight. Where'd it go? Come on. Come close to land. Ugh, how do you fight this thing? I don't even have a crossbow, I don't think. Oh, there it landed for a minute. Oh, shoot! Is there a wolf fighting me too? Like, what the heck? What is up with this? Oh my god, we're almost dead. I died. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I hope it'll just start right back at the at the at the fight. Man, she doesn't have any signs or anything. It's kind of difficult to fight this thing without signs. Guess I have to be a little more strategic next time and maybe take care of that wolf that was apparently fighting me also. I thought it was a dog at first, but no, it was a wolf fighting me. So, you know, that's cool. Ah! Alright, yeah. Here we go again. Let's just take care of this wolf right now. Right. Dead. Alright, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Oh, oh my gosh, what? What? What did I just do? I can like super speed away? Oh! I did not even know that. Who knew? Okay, speed away. <laughs> that is such a fun little thing that I didn't even know you could do. All right, we're doing much better this time. Oh, I tried to get behind it, but that didn't really work. Come on, swing. Land again, please. Come on. This is even more annoying than the griffin. There we go. Oh, no, no. Come come back. There. Come over here, dude. Okay, it's almost dead now. It's dead, I think. Oh, yeah, he got it. 
or I'm gonna get it. Siri. <gasps> Take him. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> what are we trying damn to it. do now? I can't leave him like that. Get to the tap. Here we go. How are we going to do this? One of these freaking puzzle things. Come on, jump up here. This is like, I'm so bad at this. Okay. How do we get up there? Maybe we should try a different way. I feel like it's probably this way or something, but I can't quite get up there. Wait, is this that abandoned tower? I kind of feel like I was here before. Okay, how with like Geralt? Um, I don't know how to get up here though. Uh. You awesome. Oh my god, I've been trying to do that for ages. Apparently, you just needed to climb on that one random rock that's not even in front of the tower at all. Uh. Well, damn. You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. Okay, I think we're even. You helped now. me as well. When your man brought me here, you fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. And you? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. Finally know what happened to Siri through here. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. All right, let's so go. There's a chance Siri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But if you could. 
Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her. Bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Let's do it. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. The hell is that thing? What was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as idle shit. Okay. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. Okay. Oh, the story just keeps going on and on. The cinematic is endless. Funny story. How so? I went to Novigrad once to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern and some folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horsemen's blind. One fellow, a merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Okay. <laughs> Proper Baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Though I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Ever run into anything like him? No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her. Alright, that cinematic is finally over. We got so much information and so many quests to do now. But that's going to end the episode for today, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel because I post The Witcher videos every Wednesday. Thanks for watching, I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye!